The honest spending time with animals can be therapeutic for many people going through hard times, and that includes children. That's right. That's why there's this great program in Myrtle Beach, the Fidelis Foundation of Myrtle Beach, and it connects horses with children who have gone through traumatic experiences. This morning, WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kenseth is live at Double C Ranch in, in Myrtle Beach with the details. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning. That's right. Everything about, you know, riding a horse, being on the horse is somewhat therapeutic. Even getting to know the horse is a great experience for these kids. It helps them build trust and relationships. Um, and uh, <coughs> Jennifer, talk about you're, you're a trainer here and this is kind of what you do. You walk next to the children when they're riding the horse and talk about this whole experience for them. Well, a lot of times when we get children out here, they're kids that have never been around a horse or been on a horse. So for them, it's a big deal even to be able to get the courage to get on top of an animal like this. So as they get out here and they start to ride, you see smiles come, you see the children start to build a little confidence because yes, they can do something with an animal this, lar this large. And it's amazing when you have a 50 pound, 60 pound child who can get a thousand pound animal to be able to go where they wanna go and do what they wanna do. And it gives them confidence and they set little goals of things they wanna be able to do while they're riding. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge sense of accomplishment right there is, you know, to, to ride the horse and it's exciting for them and uh, just such a great opportunity. And like you mentioned, some of these kids have never been around horses before, so you don't have to be a horse person to participate in this program. And most of the children never have, and it's an opportunity that most of them would never have otherwise Absolutely. to be able to come out and ride and, and be involved with the horses. And they get favorites and you get children, they can't wait till next time when they're able to come and then um, they pick out, oh, I want to ride Maya, and you know, this becomes their favorite horse, and they build a little bond with them. So. Right, and I'm sure you being a part of this program and just seeing, you know, the excitement and the expressions and how, how happy it makes these children, I mean, that just makes it all worthwhile because you know what? I'm happy right now because I'm riding a horse, so this is great. We'll see y'all later. <laughs> how can you not be? Horses are so fantastic. I just love yeah. them, so what a great program. We're live this morning with Therapy Horses. It's an amazing program going on right here in Myrtle Beach, and we'll tell you about it this morning. Stick with us. You're watching Good Morning Carolinas with Jason Glassfold, Crystal Costa, meteorologist Darren Stack, and Amanda Kinzen. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for waking up with us here. So we're talking about a horse therapy program in the mm -hmm. Grand Strand, and it provides support to local youth who have been through traumatic experiences. The Fidelis Foundation of Myrtle Beach works with seven different agencies throughout Ori and Georgetown counties. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzeth is live in their barn at the Double C Ranch in Myrtle Beach with some horses. Hey, Amanda. Hey, I'm making new friends this morning. So tell me about this program that goes on here, what you guys do. All right, we are a therapeutic riding uh, center. We host uh, several different agencies from the area. Um, we host uh, children that have had some sort of trauma in their life. Um, we do therapeutic riding for kids with traumatic past or present, we help them with equine therapy. Because riding, I mean, riding horses, even brushing the horses, we've got some volunteers over here mm -hmm. um, who are brushing the horses. Just pretty much everything that goes along with the horseback riding is therapeutic, it really is. Yes, it is. It's very therapeutic and the kids learn. Uh, we try to encourage uh, contact with the horse, let them learn, um, you know, the, respect of the animal and it uh, it seems to really play a big role on their lives they they just connect with them this big huge animal is like they they can control it and tell it what to do and <laughs> and and that has to help a lot too because some of these kids might have trust issues you they know? do and so mm -hmm. you know getting to know an animal and you have to trust the animal mm -hmm. if you're gonna ride it Yes. So, you know, that probably helps that whole process as yes, well. Yes, it does. It helps a lot, and we do cater to that. That is our program. We have, um, we have a lot of volunteers who just come in and give their time. and It's very much volunteer-based, and uh, we'll tell you more about it this morning and probably get on some horses, guys. Yeah. How nice. I love that. You can learn more about the Fid Fidelis Foundation on Facebook. That's a lot of Fs, and they have a whole <laughs> bunch of different pictures, and they're always looking for volunteers, so if you can help, it's, it's yeah. a great program. Now, we all know spending time with animals can be therapeutic for many people going through hard times, and, of course, that includes children. A program in Myrtle Beach is connecting local youth who have been through traumatic experiences with horses. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzeth is live at Double C Ranch in Myrtle Beach uh, with details on the Fidelis Foundation of Myrtle Beach. Hey, Amanda. 
Hey, that's right. It's a really great program. These kids get to interact with the horses. It's they come to the barn. It's all supervised. They they groom the horses. Kind of walk me through the process of what happens. We have them arrive, and we do it every Sunday from four to six is our summer hours. They arrive. We do a um, a little prayer before we have them go out, and then we all shift here to the middle of the barn, and we start grooming the horses, and we start uh, getting them all ready to go. Uh, we walk through the whole grooming, grooming process, let them connect with the horse, and then we take um, the riders out to the arena and we ride there. And um, the ones that are not riding, we then take them and we do like moral lessons and stories and connect with them and uh, just try to help them and talk to them about things that have happened in their life or, you know, whether it's uh, good or bad, we are here to talk to them and you know, just give them a different insight uh, on life. Really, really a great thing, you know, they get, they get to know other people, they get to know the animals, mm -hmm. so they get to kind of relax and step outside whatever stress is in their life, this kind of takes them out of it, and that's really what horseback riding does. And, you know, we've got the volunteers out there, like, putting the bridles on the horses, and next we're headed out to the arena. Crystal? Oh, how fun, Amanda. Good for you. It's a great program. You can actually learn more about it on Facebook. Just search the Fidelis Foundation of Myrtle Beach. They're always looking for volunteers. Take a look. We are horseback riding this morning. These are therapy horses for kids. Stick around. We'll tell you all about it. Turning now to a little bit closer to home, a horse therapy program in the Grand Strand provides support to local kids who have been through traumatic experiences. The Fidelis Foundation of Myrtle Beach works with seven, seven different agencies throughout Ori and Georgetown counties. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kenseth is live at Double C Ranch in Myrtle Beach with all the details. Hey, Amanda. Hey, that's right. We are in the arena. Such a neat program here. And I want you to tell me, you know, how this affects the kids. You're really changing their life. And, you know, the feedback that you get from these children is just amazing. Yes, we've gotten a lot of feedback. We mentor children uh, by using equestrian skills to go over into life skills, teaches them trust. Um, we so we take the kids and put them on the horse and they learn that trust and it enables them to again trust in life in the real world. So. Absolutely. Well, now you had a little girl. Tell me what she told you. Well, she came out and she had had a very um, traumatic situation occur in her life. She came out, she was around the horses, she got on the horse, the whole therapy session or the whole session with the horse she just was there and at the end she goes dreams really do come true i've always wanted to be on a big beautiful horse so and for things that she had to happen to her in her life it was an amazing moment because she just connected with the horse and she again trusted something and, and that's amazing i mean being a part of that and hearing that that just makes it all worthwhile you know you are yes, changing lives one child at a time and there are plenty of opportunities to volunteer and whatnot too but uh you know what it's a great thing going on here crystal that really is you can check out more on facebook just search the fidelis foundation of myrtle beach they're always looking for people to help out and volunteer